Chopsticks are found on every Japanese dining table. These convenient eating implements are used in many countries, but only in Japan is it common for everyone to have their own personal pair. For such a simple device, chopsticks are very versatile. You can mix food, pick it up, slice soft items, or wrap mouthfuls of rice. Japanese chopsticks have more tapered tips than most. This is the best design for eating fish, making it easier to pick out fine bones. The Japanese have developed many unique techniques for using chopsticks. This specialty store carries over 3,000 types of chopsticks. Most are made from wood, coated with lacquer or synthetic resin and decorated in a vast range of patterns. Over 80% of lacquered chopsticks produced in Japan are a type known as wakasanuribashi. The name comes from the place they are made, Wakasa, part of Obama City in Fukui, overlooking the Sea of Japan. Wakasa lacquerware is made using many layers of lacquer, decorated with seashells and eggshells. Kabuku Hiroyoshi is a wakasa nuri artisan, a master of this 400-year-old traditional craft. After he coats the wooden sticks with black lacquer, he applies a pattern of finely chopped seashells. The chopsticks are allowed to dry, then more coats of differently colored lacquer are applied. The most difficult part is getting the lacquer thickness just right. If I make the lacquer too thick, it will shrink and crack. But if it's too thin, the shell decorations can easily fall off. It's a very long process, as he'll apply nearly 20 layers in different colors. The final step is to polish the lacquer to reveal the underlying colors and detail. This variation in colors and designs makes each pair unique. Over the centuries, a set of customs developed for using chopsticks. Ogura Tomoko is an expert on chopsticks and the culture behind them. I start by teaching the correct way to pick up and hold the chopsticks. If you're right-handed, you pick them with that hand. Then support them with your left hand while you adjust the grip of your right ready for use. This is the correct, polite way to handle chopsticks. All the rules for handling chopsticks are based on showing gratitude and appreciation for the food you eat. Here are some things you should avoid doing. Don't let soup drip from the ends. Don't use them to pull dishes around the table. Never pass food directly between chopsticks. Standing chopsticks vertically in your rice is also very bad manners in Japan. Be aware that placing your chopsticks on top of your bowl indicates you've finished eating. A pair of personal chopsticks can give years of use. There are festivals each August where people bring their old, worn-out chopsticks to shrines to be disposed of with respect and gratitude. We should treasure our things all their useful life. Chopsticks the fundamental Japanese tool for eating and an embodiment of the Japanese values of respect and politeness. <laughs>